I saw a smudge of dirt on your ship the other day. Don't worry. I obliterated it with every cleaning product known to man. No speck of soil is getting near you. Not if I can help it. Yes, let's. Trading with one's companion is a holy ritual.
these damn spaces. It was Too my honor to fight alongside you. So many people. That's the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. Well said. Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. It's certainly earned. A medal isn't something I can provide on my own. But I do have the extra credits we agreed upon. Well earned. And Captain, I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Myung. But I will never forget you. You're young, and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count, because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. Hunkering down in the mud for years gives you a lot of time to think. All us ground pounders are philosophers. I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Star's hair. Sarah Morgan. It's been, what, almost ten years? Admiral, it's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the Archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Very well. Then, as a good friend, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral. This is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. 
I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. Sounds like an issue outside the purview of this department. Care to explain, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I understand. Mental scars left by war rarely heal quickly, if ever at all. I sympathize with your struggle, Commander. I want to put an end to the sleepless nights. The nightmares, waking up in cold sweat. It's... been... difficult, Admiral. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to your slates. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia.
good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. Oh no. What are we going to do now? I can't believe I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. Oh, it's been nearly 20 years, but it feels like a lifetime. Strangely, this place looks exactly the same as I remember it. But that isn't possible, right? Just like a dream. I'm okay. It's just... So surreal. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes, yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. You mean besides the dangerous terrain, vicious fauna, and the chance of getting lost? Nah, we've got nothing to worry about. Yes, exactly. Since most of my gear was destroyed, I depended on those landmarks to orient myself while I was stranded. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go. This must be some debris from my shuttle. Not exactly a textbook landing, but I didn't have much of a choice. Well, this is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? I'm surprised you've never heard of the place. It's a resort colony in the Parima system. You know, a place to get away and unwind? Maybe we should head out there after we're done. Goodness knows we'll both need a vacation. Oh, I never said I walked away. <sighs> when my ship hard landed on the surface, it broke apart. There was no fire, but I was... Well, I was pretty badly injured. Had to crawl from the wreckage. When they finally rescued me, the UC medics said I had three broken ribs, shattered my ulna, and had internal organ damage. I was in the medical ward, recovering for almost six weeks.
Yeah? Well, inside I'm a shattered wreck. So, joke's on both of us, I suppose. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. Sure, we have plenty of power cells on the ship. But they're not UC military grade. They won't work. I'm afraid we'll have to do some scrounging. No, I'm afraid that it can't. It's only designed to power individual systems. Even if it could, my old shuttle is far too damaged to be fully restored. <laughs> Cute. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. Anything interesting in range? Setting up this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here.
what those look like on the inside. Why are we stopping? I hope that emergency power cell can revive the shuttle's computer. Why are we stopping? If you think it will help, then feel free. After my rescue, the brass evaluated my mission debriefing and determined the crew was dead. When I pressed them on it, they told me it was wartime and Command didn't have unlimited vessels and personnel available to scour the planet. To be honest, after draining almost all of the emergency power cores I had, I was beginning to doubt anyone would ever hear the signal from the beacon. Fortunately, a passing freighter picked up the broadcast and did the right thing by contacting the nearest UC military vessel. I don't mind at all. Go ahead. I hope that emergency power cell can revive the shuttle's computer. Setting up this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. Necessary for me to drag around all that gear. We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Don't even joke. If this data is faulty and we end up being pointed to a pile of rocks, oh, I don't even know what we'd do next. I'm fairly certain I was able to capture all the data before I hit the ground. I'll try not to worry about it if you won't. Well, we're not there yet, but damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going.
hope we find something at the other crash site. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Not at all. You can ask me anything. It's only a short hop to the second crash site. Let's put this bird into 